What's up my friends, Mr. Gallows of course, and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, well guys, today is officially the first day of Star Wars Celebration, but uh, you know, once again, I gotta come in here and uh, talk about politics a little bit this morning. And uh, just, just like I said in one of my last videos, I swear, you know, this is like one of my last videos about politics. Um, but you know, they're gonna be, I'm still going to be doing them from time to time just because, like, like I said, you know, politics is such a, is such a hot topic, so uh, I'm going to be doing them from time to time uh, as, the, as the situation arises, uh, like, it, like, it, uh, like it did today. Um, and what I want to discuss with you guys to today, uh, for today is just this kind of thought that I had this morning that uh, really is an important aspect of politics that once again no one's really paying attention to and that is um, basically how JFK was our last progressive president. And again, you know, the, I, you guys know I don't have any political bias, you know, so this isn't coming from like a democratic side of things or anything like that. But JFK, when you think about it, was really our last progressive president. And what I mean by that is that, you know, JFK took us to the moon. To the moon! Like, I mean, that was this huge paradigm shift in culture, right? I mean, even though, you know, Nixon was in the White House, JFK is obviously uh, credited with, with, with taking us to the moon. Um, and even presidents before JFK, they had actual events to deal with. You know, World War I, World War II, the Great Depression. These were real presidents with real issues to deal with that had to cause some kind of paradigm shift to really move the country forward. As did JFK when he took us to the moon, right? But think about it, guys. What's happened since JFK? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, you, you can say that like we've had these like slight advancements like, you know, going to Mars, like sending probes to Mars and stuff like that. But really, in the last 50 years, no president has ever introduced some kind of paradigm shift to culture since JFK, 50 years. And part of the reason for that is our political system. That's what I talk about all the time on, on this channel, right? Um, that's what Jennifer Lawrence talked about in, in a new video. When, when she's, I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's new video, where she's talking about how, you know, we have a political system that doesn't work. It's not the Republicans, it's not the Democrats, it's that we have a political system that doesn't work for the people. And you can see that when, when you look in our past and realize that our last progressive president was JFK over 50 years ago. No president has done anything since JFK. It's because we have this weird political system where, you know, every so often, when it's time to elect a new, a new president, we have, we have, you know, both these parties rallying behind two candidates, one of them gets elected, they do nothing, and then we start the cycle over again. And then, you know, we get behind one candidate, they get elected into the White House, they do nothing, and then we start the cycle over again. That's how it's been going for the past 50 years. As we keep, uh, no matter whether it's Democrat or Republican, we just keep electing these people into the White House and they don't do anything. They're just there for four years or they're just there for eight years and they don't do anything and then they leave. Sure, the economy might get better, the economy might get worse. Those aren't paradigm shifts. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about paradigm shifts in culture. Where is the next president that's going to take us to the moon, right? And part of the reason is, you know, I'm playing a little bit. I guess you could say like the devil's advocate here because I know presidents aren't real. You know, presidents are just mouthpieces, right? Of course, there's the people, the, the real people in charge of this country are behind the president. They're the people that we don't see the whole, you know, the quote unquote shadow council, you know, of America, right? So of course, presidents don't do anything because they don't really have any real influence, right? It's like, it's the people behind the president. But that speaks volumes to why the political system doesn't work. Guys, right now in our political system in America, we're pretty much practicing the definition of insanity by repeating the same process every year, getting behind one candidate, electing them to the White House, and then they don't do anything. And then we do the same thing four years later or eight years later. We do the same thing. And we've been doing it for the past 50 years. It has to stop at some point, guys. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we have to stop putting people in the White House that aren't going to do anything. You know, I mean, there's this great quote that goes, People will always doubt what you say, but they will always believe what you do, right? And that's been the problem with the political system is that we have these politicians that say and say and say, but they never do because they know that just saying things 
will get them elected, right? I mean, think about how the entire world is like that. Even the entertainment industry is like that, right? Theater bait. The movie industry baiting you into the theater, knowing that it's a bad movie, but it doesn't matter because they got you in the seat. They got their money, right? Music, putting hot chicks on the cover of their albums. Yeah, it's a hot chick. Yeah, people want to buy that and get that, but the music sucks, right? Yeah, the, yes, this political candidate here is really awesome, and, and they seem to be really motivating people and hooking people and making people want to believe in them, and then they get in the White House and they do nothing. You see, it's like, America is just so fake. Like, it's just, there's very little real left in America anymore. And it's all about, you know, because people want to get attention and people want to get money. And unfortunately, a huge area where that exists is politics. And it can't anymore. Because we need, you know, we need real people in the White House. We need real, real people who actually want to change the country. That's the problem, is that we keep putting these fake candidates in there who don't care about the country, who, no matter how real they seem, they've always still got these corporations in their back pockets, and that's never going to change. So it, it's like, you know, that's what I want you guys to think about today, is that our last, the last president that actually produced a paradigm shift in America was JFK, over 50 years ago. We haven't had any kind of progression in this country. No wonder America is so behind the rest of the world. That's why, guys, is because our political system, much like the rest of the world, is a sham. Like, it's, it's not real. It doesn't work for the people, and that's a perfect example because of how, you know, the American people have just been wallowing. We've just been wading water for 50, 60 years because our political system doesn't work. We have people out there with ideas you know, and, and real people out there with ideas about how to change the world, it's time to start listening to them and to actually put candidates in the White House who want to do something for the country because over the past 50 years we haven't had anything. So it's time for a real change when it comes to that, uh, that, that, that field. And uh, it needs to come soon because we're circling the drain fast. So uh, there's something to think about for today, guys. Leave all your thoughts and opinions down below in the great white void. And I'll see you guys back here for the next vlog very soon. Later.